well, as you can see, the weather is horrible and yeah, I'm not going to the workshop today. So how about a story time? Or something like that. Anyway, here's some footage. All right, let's do a good video. Oh, it started, it, it started already, yeah. Anyway, hello. As you can see from previously, it was raining. So I was not going to go to the workshop. So today we're going to talk about the front place and what's going to go on it, why we've chose to do these certain things. Uh, so yeah, Matthew, as the main designer on the project, what was, what was you looking to do with the front? So I've always liked the idea that we're going to make a belt or a war skirt or a bit of clothing for the Orc Championship. Yeah. Um, but you really wanted it to be like a proper wrestling belt. Well, yeah. And I was kind of a bit like, uh... It's not don't... wrestling. Yeah. Orc pit fighting is not wrestling. But it sort of is. So I wanted to kind of steer you in the direction of... Like a medieval fantasy belt, yep. like we've achieved. Um, mm. So we sort of changed the poppers out for belts, and now rather than having like a big single front plate, uh, like a wrestling belt would have, yep. we're going to have a particular item that you have chosen that I have. has already played a story or played a part in the story of you. It has getting um, to this point. So I'm going to show you said piece. And I'm going to tell you the background. And it's actually hidden underneath the belt. Ah. So. Amazing. This piece right professional, here. Professional, if you Professional. I ain't no professional. Right, as you can see here, this tasty piece right here was taken from the pit, of the grounds of the pit, by the pitch walker that found it. And at the night of worth, it was handed to me. And I was like, what is this? And I was told this epic story and uh, Hannah, who plays the pitch walker, went into really great lengths of telling me this really awesome story. But what pretty much it breaks down to was that broke off because Scar smashed my face into the side of the pit and that thought fell off and fell into the brushes and the pitch walker went to find it. And I was like, oh, this is, this is amazing. But it was given to me at the night of worth um, as as a gift of someone that should be a champion, that is a champion. And it kind of just got me thinking. I was like, well, let's let's get that moving on. I don't want to always be seen as this champion or things like that. You know, if I die at the next event, then th that piece should keep going. It shouldn't die with me because it'd be better if it kept going on. Because there's an awesome little bit there. So, yeah, the idea was that we get this little bad boy, pop him right in the middle with some tasty tasty you know I, I don't know matt you'll work out something really yeah so we're gonna yeah. have you know you're gonna have two imperial horses on the outside yeah. and then the winter sun and some storm logos something like that yeah. so i guess what oh. what we're really trying to do is you're tasty. you're trying to create an item of worth that's the <laughs> yes the long and the short yeah bit. i guess i guess i am we want to make an item of worth yep. that will be passed down through the pit fighters of the nation yeah. as the events and as the seasons go on. Yeah. Um, that will be in play long after Bull has carked it. And oh, yeah. hopefully it will become part of your legacy. Mm. And one of the good things about making an item like this that's really obvious and big and on show all the time is we can showcase what items of worth are supposed to be. Yeah. So, you know, you it would be easy for us to say that the leather for the belt came from the great herd in Scarsins. Yep. You know, it was farmed from the cows that we've got, mm -hmm. that we made our own when we got Scarsins. It was produced by Orc Hands. Yeah, so it's the kind in, of, like, it involves you know, a lot more people. I mean, it's yeah. kind of like, I think for me, it's, it's a really nice idea that um, even when I snuff it as bull, it's still not just about me because... No, but that's the whole point. We're making yeah. an item of worth. And an item of worth isn't about the person that has it. Yeah. It's about the item. Well, yeah, exactly. So it is about people like the pitch walker. It's like people like Scar. It's, it's everyone that was kind of involved at that time. Yeah. Um, and then here on after, you know. So we've got, we've got a bit of clothing that's already got a story. Mm. It's already got 
elements on it that have worth. Yeah. And now you're adding to them, and you're almost making like a frame for the yep. pit. Bearing in mind that this pit that we fight in has existed since the orcs became the Tenth Nation. You know, we set the pit up in Anvil 60 years ago yep. as part of our camp. Um, and this belt is now almost like a receptacle for the pit. And it goes with pit fighting and, and all the is, champions of the pit. Is it me, but it kind of feels very weird that we've done that. And That's I don't know why. Weird. I don't know. It, it's, it's just completely on brief. Yeah. It's exactly like what an orc pit fighting champion should have. You know, yeah. you should you should be able to walk around Anvil and be like, yeah, you're all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm champion. What's up? But not even. I mean, I'm not going to do that. Not even that. <laughs> like each each fighter that wins the belt adds to the story of the belts. Like yeah. When you know you'll be able to skin of years the belt in years to come, and yeah. it will have like a list of the people who have won it and the fights that they were in. It will have a history of the belt. Yeah. And it starts with that bit of. Yeah, that that, that, that bit that of the one wall match that broke off. With my face. That's kind of nice. But I think one of the other things that were going on as well, um, just something that we briefly spoke about before, was the idea is that on, because with normal wrestling belts, you've got things that cover up the back, but this is this is pretty much going to stay bare. We're not going to put anything on there with all the you know rivets and everything like that. But every single time that this gets handed on to someone new or something like that, then their name will be etched into the back. Yeah. And then, you know... So we'll have a living record of... Yeah, so there'll be a living record that actually sits on the back, sits around the waist of the actual champion of whoever that is at the time. Um, yeah, so... I mean, it's... Yeah, again, just going back to that thing where it kind of feels weird, because it doesn't... It just feels like a pipe dream idea. You know, at E2, I was like, oh, yeah, I get to be Scar. This is going to be amazing. Oh, if I fought VR, I'd, I would, I'd make myself a belt... And I would be a champion. And now it's kind of like... And now you are. Well, I'm still not a champion because, you know, still Bull has, Bull has never beaten Vio. So he can't ever say that he's a champion until that moment actually happens. But, you know, it's when the time's right and, you know, the moon is in the seventh sun and all that jazz, you know. When the virtues are on your side. When the virtues are on my side. Um, but, yeah, this isn't, this isn't going to be Bull's belt. This is going to be everyone's belt. Yeah. This is going to be something that, you know, I will happily bring along every time, no matter if I was the champion, if I'm dead or anything we're, like that. It's... We're making a national artefact that mm. belongs to the nation and all the people that get involved in the pit fighting game. Yeah. And it just so happens to start with you. I know. But, you know, someone who's only been going to Empire for a year like you know I've only done four events but it doesn't matter to still kind of get that, to that thing that shows how much of a big impact you can have especially in our nation it's such a small nation is yeah. you can turn up and you know you were you were running the pit basically by your second game I would say more my third because it, it took uh, Ask passing away to kind of be like here here's the pit and I was like oh I'll start doing things yeah um but you, you know, you put the hard work and the effort in, and you, you know, you've been down early. You've been yeah. helping set up. You've been helping get, you know, get ready. You've been rehearsing the fights that you've had. But that's that's not just me. That's that's Tom as well, um, who played Scar. Um, he was a massive kind of supporter of me, you know, doing it the first couple of times, and he's yeah. he's helped us out tremendously with kind of concepts and ideas uh, for the pit fighting stuff. So it's going to be a bit weird. Going into another year, kind of not having him around, but um, yeah, this is kind of the culmination of a year's work, kind of coming together and finishing it off. But and now you've yeah. got another year to grow. And oh yeah, you now you know you're making the championship a big thing. Mm. You're getting a lot more characters involved. You're getting a lot more game out of the pit. You know, it wasn't. It's such a big part of the brief mm. that didn't really get played with because people didn't really have reasons to fight. I mean, you shouldn't... Yeah. You, we well, should as orcs, using, we're always supposed to. Yeah, we should be using the pit for arguments and for lots of sort of menial things, but you really livened it up and made people realise, 
oh, this is a great place to role play and to use, mm. and this is one of the biggest assets of having a, a camp that can have, you know. Yeah. Do you want to know why that is? It? Why? So I could have a belt. <laughs> I just wanted a fancy belt. Have we gone full circle? I think we have gone full circle. So, next time around, uh, in the next video, you'll be seeing us putting everything together, putting uh, the piece of the pit on the front, making other side panels, and then what it looks like at the end of it. I mean, we've also, Andrea's got to age it all up and make it look cool, because it's, yeah. like I said, you know, it's not, even though orcs can make new things, mm. the leather will be you know, repurposed from maybe some Wintermark armour that was lying about Scarf's indoor. Yeah. You know, it will have been tough, hardened leather from cows that, that have sort of... They were rough cows. Yeah. Rough. They were chaff cows. Snowy cows. And like, oh, give me your money. Oh, no. I don't know why I said that. It just made me laugh. So it might be... Either Andrea will age the belt as it is now. Yeah. Um, and then we'll put the plates on. Yeah. Um, or we'll just put all of it on and then she'll have at it all in one go and it'll look amazing. Cool. Right. Well, this has been a very different type of episode. There's been no car scenes or travel scenes. We haven't travelled anywhere. I know. I haven't got to play any of that really terrible music that I made. Well, I really like it. Mm. I, I mean, I know you say it's from like Grand Theft Auto. It does. I really like the chilled out music. It's, it's it sounds like Grand Theft Auto. Not from. Anyway, so... Next video, you'll get some more travel scenes, some more, you know, tasty, tasty edits. Uh, but for this time, this is all we've got, I'm afraid. But we will see you in the next one. Bye. Well done. You've made it to the end of the video. I'm proud of you. Now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, if you're feeling nice, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom. If not, I don't like you anymore. Hmm. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.